Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. You may have experienced recently that the world seems to be moving faster and faster. Time is going faster. More and more stimulation is available to you. You can spend hours staring at your screen. And the stimulus is all consuming. It's possible to be staring at either your phone or your computer most of the day. There is a part of the brain that enjoys diversity. It's interesting, it's fascinating. And at a certain point, without realizing it, you're taken away from the moment. You're actually removing yourself from the experience of who you are by looking at who somebody else is or what they're telling you. Now the motives for stimulating you might be monetary. Perhaps every time you look at a screen and click on something, someone makes money. And you'll see that there are little videos and vignettes designed to attract you so that you will click on them or spend your time looking at them. It is not easy to break away, but I am highly recommending that you do. Because there is deep love, joy, fascination in the moment when you're not being bombarded with stimuli. This is why you hear so much advice to be mindful and to be out in nature and to put your bare feet on the ground to look at a sunrise, to breathe deeply. All of these things slow you down a little bit. And the slowing down is quite blessed. It's only in the silence, in the stillness, that the presence of who you are can be known. It's very hard to know yourself on the run while you're on the way to something else. But let your senses bring what they bring to you while you focus on something deeper is very rewarding. Think of a person that you know, and you think you know them pretty well. And if you would describe them, you say they're like this, then they're like this. They look like this, they sound like this, and this is what they're like. I want to suggest that that is incredibly superficial. The truth is not what appears to be. The truth is what is. And the next time you're with someone that you think you know, just be very still and look again. Take a deep breath and take them in. And as you go deeper into yourself, you'll be able to go deeper into who they really are. They are not what you think. And you are not what you think. And that's why anything that has you think and think and think is taking you away from your truth. The miracle is in your willingness to see things differently, to change your perspective, to turn the other cheek. 
your willingness to reconsider what you thought to be true, to release being right about your perceptions, about your beliefs, about your ideas, about your enemies, about your friends. When you pull away from being right and you look again in the quiet, in the silence, with the eyes of love, you will see deeply into what a person really is. It will be easy to forgive, easy to love, and you will gain a certain respect for their perspective that allows you to allow them to be exactly as they are. Let that be your stimulation. You will find it absolutely fascinating. People are not what you think. Nothing is at it. It appears to be. The beauty is underneath. The beauty is in the silence. The wisdom is in the silence. The love is in the silence. Much harder to experience on the run. Let yourself slow down a little bit and reconsider what you always thought to be true. There's a depth of understanding that will increase. And what will increase is your appreciation for all of creation. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon.